Hey it's Aitre. today we are taking a look at technical analysis for VeChain with ticker VET. We'll go over some key levels of support and resistance and cover wave analysis with Elite Wave Theory. So let's get going. Currently I've enabled the horizontal support levels daily, weekly and monthly closes uh, that haven't been tapped or visited before. Then I'm enabling here support and resistance areas that are basically a zone of support or resistance for example this one we had uh, this acting as a resistance resistance couple time here um, before taking some taps in as a support this is the zone as well that we had this previous week coming down to um, so let's zoom out a bit actually just zoom in <laughs> um, here we got a couple interesting things. Got the volume profile here and the Fibonacci retracements from the all-time, or not all-time lows, but the lows of March 20 to the all-time highs. And we get some nice confluence around these areas. Point of control of this whole whole area is right here at 0.4 cents. Um, it lines up with the 786 retracement as well on logarithmic scale. Um, golden pocket, of course, lining with the super and resistance area. There's also monthly inside there and few dailies. Um, this is area where we have a lot of volume. So definitely are going to be a major level of support if we come down here. Um, just above that at around 1.6 cents, we got another weekly and a high value, high volume node basically. Again, mentioned this support and resistance area already, but we can just label it as here, 2.3 cents. Above us, we got a 38.2 retracement, but again, that was already tapped when we were coming down here um, at February 23rd, um, before some kind of a three-wave structure upwards, um, giving some nice gains if you could catch that. Um, Higher time frame again, range value area high, all the way up here at 8.4 cents. Now on a medium time frame, let's zoom in a bit. Oops. There we go. We can probably see something now. So again, volume profile from the all time highs to current price data, and again, a uh, Fibonacci retracement from the all time highs to current price or the current lows that we just established. Um, golden pocket with a currently at least a uh, VWAP, anchored VWAP from the all time highs, uh, around 11 cents acting as resistance. Before that, we have again, more confluence around this um, area that we previously marked as the range value area high. We have a high volume node there um, with daily, weekly and the 0.5 retracement just before that another monthly so this area here uh, could be even labeled as a larger order block uh, but again the dailies and weeklies monthlies are acting basically the same thing as order block closes um, there's definitely confluence on those both so i'm not going to be more or labeling both them um, something else here mm, weekly and 786 retracement uh, at around 16 cents and then of course some few weekly and dailies up above but i feel like these of course this 382 here with a volume um the vvap anchored vvap from the this one i think was the lows of this march here uh acting as resistance Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Of course, we have this support resistance area currently. Resistance area that is ranging from 3.4 cents to uh, 4 cents area. Definitely going to be some resistance if we get there. So that's pretty much the levels or the key levels that I wanted to share. Let's next close these ones and start looking into Elliott Wave stuff. Um, I'm again starting the count from the March 2020 lows and saying that we have one, one, two and three completed of intermediate scale. Now idea here is we are creating the wave four correction. We got really close to the invalidation point, um, which is at 2.2, 2, 
or 2.3 cents um, just here above this high uh, so definitely really close to that already um, currently to me this looks more like a WXY correction but we'll look into that in just a moment um, on logarithmic scale and on arithmetic scale we've got a few targets that are, we are lining up with but again there is still a possibility we could keep could be coming down a bit and at which case this um, wave one is no longer a wave one as wave three or wave four cannot get to the area of wave one at that point we would be looking a more bearish overall count of abc up here another abc up here possibly a higher um, three way structure as well uh, creating something like this um, but instead of the we are looking instead of the five that we would be looking for this last leg here would be a three way structure but we'll get into that if if that happens and uh, update you update you on that now let's zoom in a bit onto the current price data so again here we have the X wave x or w x and then creating the y this is the first possibility here um, overall looking for three-way structure first leg like could be done like so a um, few different possibilities how, how we're going to label this um, but again uh, let's take a look um, again if if this is the way we want to label this first leg or wxy here um, we would be looking uh, for a three-way move here currently it looks really impulsive structure and most likely it is just five ways down three ways up and then five ways at that point we get that invalidation into the wave one area and looking more bearish overall but still looking for pumps to come as other markets are pumping so that is one possibility second possibility is that we're looking this structure as a a b c um, instead of the w x y at this point we could be establishing fireway move here and looking for fireway move here there's multiple different ways to label uh, both of these um, that are making sense there's divergences between all these lows um, giving us some nice confidence so one way to label this last C leg is this one. So basically we have um, there we go. So one, two and one, two, three, making the fourth currently and then fifth. At this point we would be at at minuet three, creating another four and five so two more dumps and then we should be looking uh, higher prices according to this one now there's of course a uh, less uh, bearish version which is this one here um, in this case we would be looking at one two three four uh, these are both really small ones and the fifth would need to be super super extended um, before we get into this but let's check out the invalidation here I don't think I mentioned it again invalidation at 4.4 cents um, if the wave 4 would get to the area of wave 1 that is not possible as we are in the our third wave of a larger scale a larger degree now onto back to this one we are saying okay this is in the wrong spot it should be here I think there we go so at this point we are looking for fireways down here currently to me um, this looks as a one two three four and five um, just by looking at this structure here so this is sub minuet um, basically same invalidation point here for this one um, on the higher area um, below us of course we got the uh, wave one invalidation point and here we would need to get some kind of a divergence 
between this one, this last leg. Basically, we got a really low RSI reading here around, what is the lowest here? 19. Uh, if we are creating a new low in price, most likely we are going to get a higher low on RSI, uh, giving us divergence there. But we are still looking for divergence between this, um, this low here and the fifth wave of this minuet count. So we would be looking at, let's see what is the lowest here. So around 30. So RSI shouldn't get below 30 um, on this last leg. That way we can keep the divergence um, happening. Mm. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it here. Um, did we have anything else here? Oh yeah, invalidation for this count. Um, the first one that I introduced saying that this is again ABC, ABC and ABC would be coming. Um, again, if the price gets all the way up here, let me close, or move that a bit. Actually, I think I was, I labeled that in arithmetic scale here. So invalidation at 85, a percent retracement of this move. Um, at which case um, this structure would no lo longer be a zigzag. Instead, it would be looking like more like a flat structure, uh, which is required to get up here uh, before dumping down. That is why it's invalidated here. So one scenario that I haven't covered is what if we just pump, pump straight through here. Um, and to be honest, I don't have a good looking count for it. Sure, we could be saying, um, something that this would be a five but at that point we can't get a divergence here off of the lows and if that is not the case or if that is actually the case that we just pump through and get back to all-time highs from here well i'm not seeing that currently possible um just because we don't get the divergence um if i don't see the divergence i'm not going to be playing this asset uh, at least trading wise i could be investing this um, dollar cost averaging is of course very good strategy on these lows we don't need to be catching the exact low uh, we can be dollar cost averaging these downs um, these markets while they are going down and once they pump we can stop the DCA and uh, start getting the profits but yeah I think that's all I wanted to share on VET let me know if you have another count or another suggestion of a asset that you would like me to analyze next Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.